Peter, and thanks for the invitation. I'm <laughs> delighted to be here. Um, and my name's Nick Plott, I'm the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Education here at the University. Can I begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land in which we're gathering here today, the traditional owners being, being the Ngunnawal people, and pay my respects to elders past and present, and extend that respect to any Indigenous people here today. Um, I've only been with the University of Canberra for the last four months or so, coming previously from Charles Sturt University, and had the opportunity to review a number of programs and other different other universities over the last few years. And I'm delighted to say the job isn't particularly new. It's kind of bloody obvious what you need to do in a university. And what is looming large, and I'm a little bit embarrassed to say, perhaps some people are a little bit, have, have been somewhat slow to get to it, although I know this audience have been leading the charge and maybe even feeling frustrated about it all, is what's looming large is we've got to produce graduates that are global citizens. It's really, really obvious when you think about it. So at the moment, the University of Canberra is going through its planning process to develop its five-year plan. And what you might imagine in a five-year plan reflects what the government now through texts or another uh, uh, pieces of legislation and guidelines are expecting of our universities. And that is amazing learning and teaching, really innovative learning and teaching, uh, making sure that we provide a terrific student experience and making sure we produce graduates that can take their place around the world and really relevant around the world but also relevant within Australia because Australia wants to take its place around the world. So, you know, this is, these are really obvious things that we should be focusing on. So much so that, uh, for example, I'll, I'll choose the University of Canberra as an example, but this is absolutely consistent with other plans of other universities I've had to wade, wade through in recent reviews. Uh, Internationalisation in all its guises, not just how do we attract international students here, but in all its guises, has gone, it, we're proposing, from several steps of a 39-step plan in the University of Canberra to one of three major themes of the university. So it's really, really elevating the, the level of importance. And I'm delighted when I see, when I look around here, that it's so much more than just how do we attract international students, and maybe even so much more, even though this is dear to my heart, of how do we get students exposed to international opportunities and perhaps get the domestic students overseas. But actually, it's much more about not just changing the curriculum. That's really important. We want to see some international case studies. But it's thinking about ways of teaching. It's thinking about validating different cultures and validating people's backgrounds when they come into the classroom. Um, it's that sort of much more subtle approaches as well as the broad approaches of how are we ensuring that we produce these great graduates. So it's dear to my heart and I have to say I've, I take typically a blunt instrument to these things and say we should be doing more of it and it's really, really obvious but I'm pleased to see that around the, ar around the posters and some of the abstracts I've looked at that you folk have gathered here and saying, yeah, we can take the broad approaches, but we can also take the subtle approaches to improving internationalisation. So I'm delighted to see that, and I'm delighted to that, that there's such experts uh, in the room as well as in, in our university sector. My only regret is I can't be here for much of the day, so you'll be seeing me zipping in and out. I've just got to get to as many, I've got tiny little gaps in my calendar today, so I'm going to be zipping in and out and just catching as much as I can. Um, the other thing that is interesting is internationalisation. Oh, we, we have in this university, and I bet you all have it for all the different universities represented here today, we have uh, signature themes and generic skills and graduate attributes, you know, the sorts of things that universities break themselves up in. And in the end, you can tangle yourself up in lots of different ways, but internationalisation fits in in so many of those themes. We actually have at, at University of Canberra an internationalisation theme. And what we're actually talking about there is intercultural competency, aren't we? But we're talking. But then we have a communication generic skill, I guess, or mm -hmm. a signature theme. Well, hang on, we, we should be thinking about communication across across cultural boundaries. And then we have producing a professional uh, for a professional career, and we should be adding for a professional career in a intercultural workplace of some description. And you can you can work that through teamwork, through communication, professionalism, ethics, the whole lot. In the end. We shouldn't be thinking about this as a bolt-on, as an add-on somewhere. It should just be obvious 
and embedded. And maybe, I don't know, probably we'll never get to this, but maybe the ultimate measure of all of this will be that we, it is so obvious that we stop meeting like this because it's really embedded in the culture and we don't really, in the culture and makeup of universities and curriculum and pedagogy and we don't actually have to meet like this. I think there's still some more work to be done. <laughs> I think you guys have proven that along the way but I think you're doing all the right things. So I congratulate you and I really am excited about this. There is a reason I think that I take it personally. I'm not positive how it came about but I just think that internationalisation in all its guises is really important and I think it's because over the years, when you, I've seen this in myself in, in classrooms, in when students come back from an international experience, when I have international students in the classroom and they raise their hand and give a, a, a second approach or a different case study or another perspective and you see all the domestic students going quiet and looking around going, oh, well, this is something that I'm not going to find in the books. And, I've, and I'm convinced that after these international experiences, the students walk out of the classroom or walk back into the classroom or walk out of the campus for the day that much taller. They're, we're actually producing, we're, we're teaching better and we're ch producing better graduates. And that's what it's all about. That, you know, almost you don't need a university thing. You almost don't need a plan. You just, it, the, the plan should just be produce amazing global citizens that are great at their career. You know, that would do, wouldn't it? And if you're saying that globally, you can't be assuming that people have that ability to think outside that screen, think interculturally, or even necessarily whether our staff have that awareness or that capability. So, does it sound like I'm a little bit excited about this? I think it really is important. I'm delighted to be here today, and I'm honoured to be the one that's actually officially opening it. So. Can I get you to give a round of applause to all the people involved, all the organisers, and all the work over the last few years involved in, in, in coming together, both the showcase in Griffith, I understand, previously, and here to open the University of Canberra National Showcase, embedding intercultural skills in the curriculum. Well done. Everybody.